There is a surprising amount of kit that you need to take with you on a long ride if you're going to be completely self-sufficient. But as you can see here, it's pretty difficult to put all of this stuff into the three back pockets you get on a cycling jersey. So here's a guide to how we, here at GCN, pack our kit efficiently. So laid out neatly on this table, here's the kit that you need to take out on a long ride. First up, a gilet, rain cape, a couple of energy gels, some food, phone, and a waterproof case, a couple of tire levers, some patches, a mini pump, a multi-tool, a super multi-tool, two inner tubes, a mini tube of suntan cream, depending on the weather, of course, ID, a wallet, some cash, a rather retro way of carrying your kit, a beetle. So how, do I hear you ask, are we going to fit all of this into our pockets? The answer, we're not. Nope, packaging all of this into your jersey will see your pockets bulging and kit flying off left, right and centre. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is where a saddlebag becomes invaluable. So, in the saddlebag, you can put the following things. Some patches, they fit neatly in the top there. Your two inner tubes. Let's go very snugly in there. Nice and tight, which is what you want. And it still leaves room for your tyre levers. Just slot those down in there. And also a multi-tool. There we go. Just slide down the side nice and neat. And zip that up. How compact and efficient is that? City, she don't, she don't kill me. So, with your inner tubes and tools out of the way, let's move on to the other stuff. So, my cape and my mini pump are generally put together so it doesn't dig in and stick in my middle pocket at the back, keeping it nice and central and balanced. Now, next up, it's cash. Now, there's a few ways you can carry cash on a ride. A really old school secret way of stashing cash. We've got a £20 note here, just enough to cover any eventualities and also a coffee stop if needed, is to pop out the end plugs on your handlebars and stow that neatly inside. And another way of storing money is this. A lot of you may do it already, but it's a good one. If you've got a phone case, just slip your £20 note, or whatever currency you use in your country, of course, stick it in there, and that negates the need to take a wallet with you. Now, while we're on the subject of phones, even though most phones do come with a case, it's all about looking after the screen and not scratching it, especially when you're taking things in and out of your pocket on a ride. So get yourself a little plastic case or something like this. This is just an old Santini bag that arm warmers are stored in. Put that inside, keeps it waterproof and snug with a little zip lock on it. You can fold it up and your phone is ready to roll really. Now finally, one of the last bits of kit that might be important on a ride or just going out generally is some ID. So take a driving license for example and a company called Road ID also make wristbands that contains all the details that you need should you get into difficulty. Add to that your gels, you can stick them either side, you've got a nice, a nice balanced set of pockets so you can go on your way. Now one other thing that you might want to take on a ride with you but certainly not in the weather conditions we've got in the UK at the moment is a small tube of suntan cream but like I said Definitely not today. I went down to the city. Finally, a bit of an old school method for carrying your kit. We have touched on this before in one of our GCN videos, but here's a reminder for you. You get an old bead on, cut off the top. A lot of pros do this actually. And a bit of a reminder, you will need two bottle cages on your bike. Otherwise you're gonna go a little bit thirsty. Cut off the top, get your kit. So you've got your inner tubes neatly packed, a suitably sized plastic bag, your patches, your multi-tool and your tire levers. Roll them all up, nice and compact, nice and tight, like so. Baking seals coming in there. Slot it in, nice and neat. And there you have it. And if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And for our etiquette video, click up here. And to how to ride like a gentleman or gentle lady cyclist, click down here. And to become a fan and subscribe to GCN, it's absolutely free. Click on my old school beat on.
Oh, pardon me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that.